Happy Easter. On behalf of the Franciscan Friars at Franciscan University of Steubenville, I want to wish you and your family a most blessed, happy Easter. This Easter has been like none other. My suspicion is if you were to think of past Easter's like in 1980 or 1990 or 2000, there's some things that you might know that you went to church, you had a big meal, family time, but this Easter has been profoundly different. This Easter has not been like any other. My guess is everybody is going to remember the Easter of 2020. And yet somebody came up to me recently and they said, Father Dave, it just feels like Easter didn't really happen. So I just want to address that just for a moment. First off, I get it. I mean, I get what he was talking about. The fact that he wasn't able and his family wasn't able to go to mass and be able to celebrate the, the Triduum and Easter and all that, I understand that. But we need to be clear about something. Easter really happened. God really took on flesh. Jesus really became a baby. He was raised. He loved us. He forgave us. He healed us. Jesus really was arrested. Jesus really did have a trial. He really was crowned with thorns. He really was nailed to a cross. He really, his cold body really was put in a tomb. And three days later, Mary Magdalene really went to the tomb and Peter and John went to the tomb and the tomb really was empty. I get where it may not feel like Easter really happened this year, but brothers and sisters, I guarantee you, Easter has happened. And that reality needs to be true to our own life. The question I think that this particular Easter, maybe more than any other needs to be asked for each one of us is, has that been our experience? Have we encountered the resurrected Christ? Have we encountered the power of Easter in our own life? The power over sin, the power and the freedom that comes with the resurrection, the freedom that comes with Jesus breaking the chains of the evil one and breaking the power of sin. Has that been your experience? Has it been my experience? Is the story of Easter just basically somebody else's story? Or has it been your story? Has the grace and the anointing and the power and the majesty and the beauty of the reality of an empty tomb, your experience? Is it my experience? That's my prayer for us this year, is that as we find ourselves in this week that is all this entire week is Easter, that your experience would be one that Jesus has risen from the dead and this has really happened. It's happened in the human history and it's happened in your life. We ask that the Lord pour out his blessings upon you that you would really experience the grace that is Easter. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen? Amen.